If you have a 401 or other employer-sponsored retirement plan, what happens to that money when you leave your job? One option is to roll it over into an ERA or individual retirement account. In this video, we'll discuss what a rollover ERA is, why you might consider one, and how they work. What is a rollover ERA? A rollover ERA is an individual retirement account that is created when you transfer money from a retirement plan from a former employer, such as a 401 or 403, into a new ERA. This type of ERA allows you to continue investing in a tax-advantaged account. Rather than taking the money as a taxable distribution, why consider a rollover ERA? There are several reasons why you might consider rolling over your retirement plan into a rollover ERA. Consolidation. If you have multiple retirement plans from former employers, consolidating them into one account can simply Simplify your finances. Investment options. With a rollover era, you have a wider range of investment options than you may have had in your former employer's retirement plan. Control. You have more control over your investments with a rollover era than you would with a former employer's plan. To roll over your retirement plan into a rollover era, you'll need to follow these steps. Open a rollover era account with a financial institution that offers them. Contact your former employer's plan administrator and request a direct rollover of your retirement plan funds to your new era account. The funds will be transferred directly to your new era rather than to you personally. Once the funds are in your new era, you can invest them as you choose. It's important to note that there are two types of rollovers, direct and indirect. A direct rollover is when your former employer's plan administrator transfers the funds directly to your new era. An indirect rollover is when you receive the funds from your former employer's plan and then deposit them into your new era within 60 days. With an indirect rollover, you'll need to follow strict rules to avoid penalties and taxes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get even more financial videos.